What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Aston Villa PS5 career mode here on FIFA 21. We have ourselves quite the big episode, but we start things off here in the Premier League against Southampton, looking to keep our winning ways, going towards retaining our Premier League trophy. And the first chance does come to us, and the first goal actually comes to Ollie Watkins, and what a strike that was. What a pass over the top from Jack Grealish, and Aston Villa lead 1-0 against Southampton, and it's a great start. But the Saints are looking to equalize here with Divock Origi. I actually wanted to sign him on earlier this season, but I mean, just look at this intricate play from Southampton, who just tear us apart with their slick passing tiki-taka football. And I mean, Jesus, that deserved a goal. It's 1-1 here at Villa Park. Christian Pulisic has a good chance to give us the lead. He finds Madweke at the edge of the box, but his strike only finds Pavlenka, and it stays 1-1 here. Later on, we're looking to get the go-ahead goal to give us the lead, and it's George Hansen from outside the box. The goalkeeper equal to it, and it stays 1-1 here, but I mean, look at that beautiful tackle from Matt Target. The referee, though, decides it's worthy of a second yellow and sends off Matt Target. Just to let you know, there is a bunch of red cards this episode, so you can already tell this is going to be quite the episode. But this is not worthy of a red card in my opinion, that was a perfect tackle. Referee had other ideas, now Southampton have a good chance here with Arnold hitting the post! And luckily for us, we escape danger towards the end of the game here as uh, Southampton get away with the point. Actually, we should say we get away with the point. We could have lost towards the end of the game there, but as it stays, it's Aston Villa 1, Southampton 1. Now we turn our attention to the big one here. It's Atletico Madrid, the best team in the world in real life, comes to take us on at Villa Park. This is our first quarterfinal Champions League game. This is the first season we have actually progressed past the round of 16, so we're looking to cause some damage. It's Jackie Boy who plays it to Alexander Rizal who goes one-on-one -on -one with Yano Black and it's Alexander Isak who opens the scoring for Aston Villa 20 minutes in here we take the lead against Atleti who have themselves an amazing squad I should say but that puff from Jack Grealish was beautiful that finish from Alexander Isak was beautiful surprisingly it's only his second goal in the Champions League this season but I mean it's a big one it's a it's a goal in the quarterfinal first leg here's how Felix though is eventually gonna take this free kick comes very close to actually scoring a banging goal there but it stays 1-0 to Aston Villa not for long though Chukwueze then finds Joe Felix this time he rockets that one into the back of the net he must have been mad at that free kick miss well I mean Jesus Joe Felix brings it right back it's 1-1 here they get their away goal or crucial away goal may I say here on the second half now, it's going to be Alexander Isak who plays a beautiful ball for George Hansen. George Hansen is going to go for a goal. All Black saves though. And it comes to Christian Pulisic who's going to try to strike. Hits the defenders and Pulisic luckily stays under the ball here. Still Pulisic who gives it to Jack Grealish. Third time's the charm. And it's our golden boy, Jack Grealish, who puts the ball into the back of the net. And we take the lead right back against Atleti. It took three tries there, but you know what they say, third time's the charm. And Jack Grealish, man, well, I mean, he's got the charm to just make Aston Villa faithfuls fall in love. He gets an important goal for us here. It's not over yet, though. Martinez with the save, and it causes a little bit of danger. What's happening out here? It's going to be Piontek. Nuno Tavares blocks it, and that could have been dangerous. But you know what's dangerous? Not this tackle, because the referee blows for a foul and he's gonna give Nuno Tavares a red card for that I feel like there's a little bit of racism involved in this one how on earth is this a red card and we take a look at this once again oh, that's a soft tackle to be honest that's not a red card but luckily the red card didn't hurt us towards the end of the game this time and uh, we escaped with a 2-1 victory against Atletico Madrid. They do have an away goal to take back to the Wanda Metropolitano. And that game is going to be after this game against Everton here in the Premier League. But, I mean, we have all to fight for. And we're going to find out after this episode if we progress to the semifinals or if we get knocked out once again in the Champions League. But before that, 
We rested a lot of players for this Everton game, and we do have the first chance here with Munir, who have a good chance, and it's Martinez who makes a fine save. And we go on the attack this time, it's going to be John McGinn who plays it to Ollie Watkins. It's going to be one-on-one, -on -one. it's going to be Ollie Watkins who dinks it over the keeper! And it's Ollie Watkins that opens the scoring here! Ollie Watkins is just banging them in left, right, and center in the Premier League recently, which is very lovely to see, and it's very good to see that we're getting closer and closer to that Premier League trophy once again, and I mean, Jesus, this lovely, intricate play from the boys. This one did deserve a goal, and it's Johnny McGinn at the end of it, starting ahead of Donnie. And John, and John McGinn, I mean, Jesus. Every time we play him, he seems to do very well, which is very good to see. We just have no... Um, all our positions are just perfectly covered, to be honest. Uh, we have perfect squad depth. They almost get a good goal, Everton, here, but they put their shot wide, and we have a chance to get a third goal here. It's Hansen walking up and over to the young academy player, Lewis Beckett! He doesn't get a lot of game time, this boy. This is actually his first Premier League goal, and what? A time and place to get it right in front of the Villa faithful. A beautiful little goal from Lewis Beckett. He makes it 3-0, and that is how the game ended. Aston Villa 3, Everton 0. Another fantastic performance, and another clean sheet. And we're going to need to replicate that here in Madrid. Atletico, Aston Villa, first leg, we 1-2-1. They're looking for revenge. They are hungry, and they have the first chance here. Chukweze, John Stones tackles it, tries to, but it comes right back to João Felix. And Felix once again scoring against Aston Villa. Did at Villa Park. Does so here at the Wanda. Gives Atleti the lead and gives them the advantage. Here comes uh, Aston Villa. This time it's going to be Alexander Rizak to lead the charge. He plays it back to Greedus, looking for some space, looking for an option. He's going to find the American Christian Pulisic. Who gets the goal right back for Aston Villa? We take control right back. It's Atleti 1. Aston Villa 1. 3-2 on aggregate to Aston Villa. We are right back into the driver's seat. Uh, Christian Pulisic, by the way, loves. He absolutely loves a big game goal here. But here come Atleti once again. Joe Felix, wow! It's Joe Felix! He means business! He wants to take Atleti to that Champions League trophy! You can tell! That was a venomous strike here! 2-1! And as it stands, it's going to extra time here. And I mean, if it does go to extra time, we are in trouble because... Yet another red card for us. It's This time it's Christian Pulisic. That was actually an accident. But I mean, the accident, I mean, it's just... Uh, was this even a red card? Uh, maybe it was a red card to be honest, but we're in big trouble here. We're down to 10 men, but we are fighting. We are Aston Villa. It's Alexander. Isaac. It's Oblak with the save. Will this go to extra time? Will Atleti have a good chance to steal it at the end? It's Chukwueze, Felix, who plays it to Inaki Williams. That. Talk about bottling a chance there. Here comes Aston Villa, though. One last chance, two minutes before the end of the game. Hansen finds Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins is going to play it. It's going to be Nani Madueke! Could this be Aston Villa's year to lift that Champions League trophy? That goal seals the deal. We are into the semi-finals of the Champions League for the first time in the series. And it's Nani Madueke. He was known for getting those big goals in the big games. Hasn't gotten so many goals or assists lately, but I mean, he turned up here in Madrid. Gives us the go-ahead goal, and the game ends three goals to two. No, four goals to three on aggregate to Aston Villa. And we boys are in to the semi-finals. Don't know yet who we're going to face, but I mean, Jesus, this semi, this quarterfinal tie against Atletico Madrid was absolutely full of drama, left, right, and center from start to finish. And if it's anything like that in the semifinals, we are in for a treat. But as ever, if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you for another episode of the Aston Villa PS5 Career Mode very soon. Take care.